Thank you, Chai. And I'd also like to thank uh, Sir John Kotrawala Defense University for inviting me here and giving me the opportunity to present my paper. Uh, a bulk of what, what I wanted to say has been already covered in yesterday's session with the keynote address of Mr. Lalit Viratunga and also of uh, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Kolumbagay, the commandant of the uh, Sri Lankan Navy. Both these gentlemen had kind of uh, largely uh, reiterated the geographical importance of Sri Lanka in the Indian Ocean in terms of sea lanes of communication, its, uh, its inherent assets and ability and uh, strengths in uh, port management, uh, uh, being a maritime hub and an aviation hub. With these, and uh, Mr. Lalit Viratunge, while quoting extensively from uh, Mahindra Chintana, uh, and uh, His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa had uh, kind of made a brief uh, st uh, SWOT analysis of strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that that Sri Lanka faces in making uh, itself a regional urban Asia. However, so given this background, I kind of sk skip through most of what I want to say and go to the serious issues that I want to kind of focus on. In terms of regional security and uh, geopolitic uh, dy dynamics in the region. Region I'm referring both more with respect to South Asia and not with Asia. And, and over here when I'm saying global security is more in terms of in the Asian continent and not in terms of South Asia. In regional security with the end of its internal uh, insurgency and terrorism in 2009, it is not an uh, issue as much as inside Sri Lanka, but within the periphery of Sri Lanka in terms of South, South Asia. Sri Lanka, when compared to a number of other regions in the in Asia, if you look at it, and Asia Africa, is slightly uh, being an island state. It gives it a lot of advantages that it is not dragged into conflicts or disputes between two other nations. And 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 as the uh, High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, the Pakistan High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, had, had mentioned yesterday about the, the disputes that exist between India and Pakistan, even though it might affect the region from a global perspective, Sri Lanka is not directly affected. This, when one kind of juxtaposes with the other regions in the area, maybe other important uh, hubs in international shipping, maybe like uh, Singapore and Dubai, Colombo, Colombo port has got an uh, advantage when compared to theirs. If you take Dubai, Dubai per se doesn't have any regional disputes with anyone. But the Persian Gulf region, whether it be in the Iraq war of, of recent past or the current uh, situation with Iran's nuclear program, Colombo port would become subjected to these international disputes of which it, has got, it is not a party to. If you take Singapore to another hand, Singapore has got an issue of uh, piracy in the Malacca Straits, which it has kind of curtailed uh, to a large extent with, uh, with uh, joint cooperation from Malaysia and Indonesia. But if you go move a bit further from Singapore and go to the South China Sea dispute, which which to some extent is also kind of falls under the ambit of the Chinese uh, Malacca dilemma. Malacca dilemma of China is, which largely states that uh, Chinese sea lanes of communication is largely dependent on the Malacca Straits. And anything happens in, in Malacca will affect China. And that kind of a security dynamics for China has got its own ramification. So if you take Singapore in that sense, has got a problem. But if you take Sri Lanka, as uh, Vice Admiral uh, Columbia had mentioned, a state that kind of with almost a uh, hundred percent near uh, complete navigable waters around it, with f uh, four significant port facilities in four corners of the country: Col Colombo Port in the in the western part of the country, Hambantota in the south, Trincomalee in the east, and uh, Kankasunthurai in the north. Sri Lanka has kind of largely uh, um, has got the geographical benefit of open seas, open seas, and uninterrupted shipping in his near periphery, unlike that the, uh, a situation that cannot be uh, expected in either in Singapore or Dubai, or for that matter in, in most other parts of the world. However, what are the limitations that Sri Lanka would face? The security consideration of Sri Lanka largely would rather be external. I've got s are similar in nature when compared to India on a few aspects. What affects Sri Lanka also affects India. And India's, the primary focus of India's security or the Indian view on Sri Lanka is that what can affect Sri Lanka can affect India. And again, as the Vice Admiral mentioned, Sri Lanka by its geography is a 
very large uh, aircraft carrier. And it is that kind of an issue that, that impinges on, on the Indian thinking on Sri Lanka and not as much as what Sri Lanka can do, but what Sri Lanka is capable of doing or what others can, um, or how Sri Lanka can, can be a facilitation for other uh, external regional powers. And in this context, if you really look at another issue is that the shift in US policy, the Asian pivot or rebalancing, as kind of uh, Raji resulted in redrawing the world map from, uh, into a, coining a new term called Indo-Pacific. Indo-Pacific as a term, if, you, if one has to see, includes most of the whole of Southeast Asia and East Asia, largely kind of starting from the Guam Island or maybe to, to, you can extend it to Hawaii, to, the, to India or Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka and, and India being the western most extremes of, uh, of the Indo-Pacific region. A, and also being at close proximity to the Malacca Straits, Sri Lanka gains tremendous significance in this overall uh, geostrategic thinking of the United States. When compared to, the, and this when compared to the Chinese, existing Chinese uh, uh, security uh, thinking on the Malacca Dilemma. And as uh, Senior Colonel Gao Zining at STA mentioned, that the Chinese are developing other alternative routes, whether it be the uh, pipeline through uh, Myanmar or Guadalajara facility or the Guadalajara port facility in uh, in Pakistan, has largely been keeping the Mal the Malacca dilemma in mind, and to ensure that its uh, uh, shipping, international shipping, is largely goes unhindered. Whereas, if we take in terms of India, as I mentioned, if the uh, India's security dynamics are largely overlapping. But in this, how, how is India going to balance or going to play the issue? And it is also a question of Sri Lanka, how is it going to balance uh, balance the overall global scenario? As again, as kind of Raj again quoting a uh, senior colonel, uh, Gao Zining, the strength of Sri Lanka is also its weakness. The strength of Sri Lanka, as, uh, <coughs> as, as was mentioned now, is that it has got almost very good relationship with every country in the region and also beyond almost near consistently good relationship, no, no serious issues with any, role, with any one individual country. Therefore, Sri Lanka can, can benefit extensively from a lot of, a lot of countries, whether it be kind of, uh, Iran, Pakistan, India, Singapore, uh, China, US. I think that Sri Lanka may be one of the few countries which has been able to have a very good relationship simultaneously like with countries like in Iran, Pakistan, India, China, and US. When any one or two countries out of these five would automatically trigger a conflict or, or result in a conflict of interest. So which is an advantage of Sri Lanka. There's also a disadvantage of Sri Lanka is that all these countries would try to use Sri Lanka as a launch pad to exert their influence, not in Sri Lanka, but beyond focusing on the international sea lanes of communication. And if one looks at the Indian Ocean map, Sri Lanka sits in an ideal position with near equidistant to three, three of the most important choke points in the region. The Malacca Straits in uh, South, South China Sea, the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz in Persian Gulf, and the Red Sea Channel, whether, including the Suez in the north and uh, Suez in the north. So that being the case, st the, the strength, the geographical position of Sri Lanka is an enviable position for any one nation, for any extra-regional nation which wants to secure their interest in the, in the IOR, IOR. But if one looks into the regional security dynamics, a uh, situation, uh, uh, a subject that has not been really talked much, but has made great progress in recent months. Last month in Colombo, I think in June, July 8th, uh, India, Sri Lanka, and Maldives had signed a uh, trilateral maritime security agreement. What is this maritime security agreement which focuses on? It basically kind of focuses on uh, ensuring the safety and the security of the maritime waters, largely with the focus to piracy today, and to, to, to the present in the present context, piracy of, Somal of the Somali coast, and in the future context of ensuring that no unworthy, uh, untoward incidents takes place in the maritime waters of these three countries that can affect either or all all three nations. If one can kind of read a bit more into the Trilateral Maritime Agreement, and if the and, and if this agreement kind of uh, gains momentum and gains momentum, one can see that 
this could be a foundation for a new regional or even a sub-regional security architect. With, because, and the reason why I'm saying is that, as I already mentioned, the security considerations of both Sri Lanka and, and Maldives in terms of external issues are similar to that of India. What affects Sri Lanka or what affects Maldives could affect India and vice versa. What affects either, either of the countries will, will, can definitely have a ramification and implication on the other two nations. Uh, and therefore, the, however, the silver lining in, in all this is that the global security architecture since the days of the Cold War is yet to evolve completely. It is still in an evolutionary stage. Given that, and given the fact that uh, bulk of the nations in the world, whether it be uh, the member nations, nations of BRICS, India, China, Russia, are all developing, very few of them, and have got different and evolving uh, views on security and the geostrategic issues. The, the concerns for Sri Lanka need not be really as bleak as one sees. But, can, can, but, but on the contrary, can be very positive with Sri Lanka benefiting from all. Thank you.